All right, in this video, I'll show you how to take an M query and paste it into Power BI's Power Query tool in order to run an ETL package within Power BI. The methodology I'm showing you will apply to any M query where you have access to the data source that's being referenced in the query. Uh, for this particular example, you will need to have first deployed an Azure Data Lake, second deployed Azure Data Factory, and then third, run the package in Azure Data Factory, which will reach out and pull uh, healthcare open data into that Azure Data Lake. For each of the different sources in PowerPop Health, there's a separate ARM template, so you can pick and choose uh, what you'd like to pull into that environment. Uh, for this particular demo, I'm just gonna use something simple, just a table of ICD-10 codes. So if I go to the CMS data folder and then go to CMS codes, you'll see that we have uh, either DRGs or ICD-10s. I'm just gonna do the ICD-10 uh, diagnostic codes, the, the CM uh, ICD-10 uh, M query file. Uh, you'll notice here that there's also the Azure ARM template. This is the ARM template that will actually uh, deploy to Data Factory a package that will reach out to CMS and pull in that ICD-10 data and put it into your data lake. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this file. I can then copy this M query. Let's move over to Power BI, go to Get Data, Blank Query, Advanced Editor, Let's paste in that query that we copied from GitHub. And now you'll see it's saying the source is Azure Data Lake. Here, I'm gonna change it to the name of my Azure Data Lake for this demo, which is PowerPop Health. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that and reuse it here. Reuse it here. And here. So what I did is replace the generic placeholder with the name of my actual data lake. You can name your data lake anything you want when you run this framework. Um, if you're connecting to something outside of a data lake uh, from some other source, you can still paste in the M code and you don't have to go change anything in the connection string. I'll go ahead and hit done. Now you'll see it automatically adds all of those steps to my M query, and then it gives me a preview of what's being pulled in from the data lake. Not a lot of logic happened to this file because it was fairly because it was fairly straightforward and simple, but I did add a custom column at the end so that you can have the ICD-10 uh, diagnostic code along with the description. Sometimes this is nice in a report. Uh, where you want both of those values uh, in the same data visualization. So that's it. Just copy the M query, paste it into a blank query, make sure that the reference data lake is your data lake by changing the name of your underscore data underscore lake to the name of your data lake, and then you're ready to go.